Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview as well as some benchmarks on this new SSD from Samsung. This is the Samsung 840 Pro. I have the 256 gigabyte version right here. It's also available in 64, 128 and 512 gigabyte capacities. The 840 Pro is the successor to the very popular Samsung 830 SSD and as you can see it's a fairly standard 2.5 inch form factor drive uh, as well as being just 7 millimeters thick so it should fit in most existing laptops that can hold a 2.5 inch drive. Also one thing to point out we have the 840 Pro here. There's also an 840. There are some differences between the two, so bear those in mind. Uh, but apart from that, here on the outside, we can also see the Serial ATA interface. It's Serial ATA Revision 3 compatible. That's 6 gigabit, uh, gigabits per second. And we can see the power and data connectors right here. Samsung is listing some pretty impressive specs for this drive. They are saying it can hit sustained sequential read speeds of 540 megabytes per second and sustained sequential write speeds of 520 megabytes per second. Also, 4K random reads up to 100,000 input-output operations per second, or IOPS. 4K random writes up to 90,000 IOPS, which is pretty absurd for a single drive. Now, the 840 uses 21 nanometer 2-bit per cell MLC toggle NAND flash memory. Now the difference here between the 840 Pro that we're showing here and the 840 is the 840 uses MLC or multi-level cell memory but they use 3 bits per cell. That's also known as TLC or triple level cell. So bear in mind the difference between the two of those. The 840 is uh, slightly more of a budget drive than the 840 Pro. This SSD features Samsung's very own MDX controller and that's used in both the 840 and the 840 Pro. That controller has three ARM Cortex R4 cores and also features hardware AES-256 encryption. For caching, it has 512 megabytes of low power DDR2 1066 RAM, and it also features a five year manufacturer's warranty from Samsung. And now we're moving on to some benchmarks for the 840 Pro. We're running uh, firmware version 2B0Q. I'm currently running a 3960X processor. This is an ASUS Sabertooth X79 motherboard, and we're connected directly to the SATA Rev3 or 6 gigabit per second controller that's integrated and, uh, as part of that motherboard. And our memory is running at 1600 speed. We're going to start off with a look at the AS SSD benchmark test. So over on the left side, we have my uh, basic benchmark run. This is the same test that's just listed uh, the megabytes per second on the left, input output operations per second on the right. We can see an overall score of 1095, which is a pretty, pretty stinking high for a single SSD uh, running on a standard serial ATA bus. Uh, we hit up to 509.45 megabytes per second on the reads, 447.90 megabytes per second on the writes. Uh, 4K tests are very important for uh, looking at your sort of day-to-day -day, uh, computer performance. Perform very well there as well. If you look at input output operations per second, we hit 96,000 on the 4K 64 thread read, 63,500 on the writes for that one. Uh, we also ran the uh, AS SSD copy benchmark, which is over here on the right side. We can see the score, the uh, total results there, 430 megabytes per second, 284 and uh, 397 respectively for ISO program and game. Also, we have the compression benchmark for ASSSD, uh, which is testing, well, drive compression, which uh, the 840 Pro doesn't really do. It just sort of writes everything directly. So as we can see, pretty standard for the amount of, perf uh, for the amount of compression listed down here at the bottom. The charts are staying pretty stable up there at the top and the uh, mid to upper 400 megabytes per second range. Next up we have Crystal Dismark, and I ran this in non-compressible mode, which you can see on the right side here, as well as compressible mode, which you can see on the left side there. Again, since this drive does not perform on the, on the fly compression, the benchmark results are pretty similar between the two tests. Uh, but here we can again see some really stellar performance from this drive, especially if you're looking at the uh, incompressible test over here. If you're looking at input-output operations per second down there at the bottom, uh, we hit just just shy of 100,000 input-output operations per second, just shy of 90,000 input-output input output operations per second on the read and the write, respectively. So again, that's hitting the numbers that we saw advertised by Samsung. Uh, there are all the rest of the test results for you as well. And lastly, we're looking at our ATO test. I ran in a couple different modes, Q-depth of 4 on the left, Q-depth of 10 on the right. Both of these scales go up to 1,000, so they're fairly similar. You get a bit better results on the Q-depth 10 test. This is actually one of the most popular tests 
that uh, manufacturers will run on their own drive so that they can tell you the performance because it runs a bunch of different transfer sizes and you get to scores across the board and you can look and see, well, what's the max performance that the drive is achieving? So on the right side here in the Q-Depth 10 test, we hit 540, uh, 540 megabytes per second. That was on the 256 KB test. Uh, we also hit in the read performance uh, about 564 megabytes per second, which is, again, just just really, really fast. Uh, having tested a lot of drives, I can I can confirm that's a really fast score. 564 megabytes per second and hit that pretty consistently after it got up past about 512 KB. So there you have our benchmarks and I can say without a doubt that the Samsung 840 Pro is screaming fast. It should be able to handle just about anything you want to throw at it, especially if you're going to be doing heavy read and write intensive applications such as video editing. That's going to be all for this video. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. This has been the Samsung 840 Pro 256 gigabyte. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, you can find them on our Newegg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.